Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. I want to give you um, some of the updates that come out today on Quentin's case. It's not a lot. There is not something technically from law enforcement, but past law enforcement talking about the case and a babysitter also put out another video. Um, not a long one, but I just want to go over that with you real quick. My cat also would like to speak to you if you can hear my kitty talking. But um, so this one that I have you on right now is questioning why hasn't anyone been arrested in connection to the disappearance of Quentin Simon? Simon. Um, Savannah, Georgia. It has now been more than two weeks since Quentin Simon was last seen, the 20-month-old toddler in the center of a massive search effort that now focuses on a Chatham County landfill. Only the WSAV investigative unit has the photo of the toddler's mom out drinking at a beach bar uh, as the first day of the landfill search wrapped up. Why isn't Leilani Simon the only suspect in this case in jail? Quite honestly, it is likely because she's not a threat to the general public. That's the opinion of a law enforcement expert, WSAV, asked on Thursday. It's the picture that so many people are talking about. Leilani at a Tybee Island bar Tuesday night. Servers told WSAV that her mom, Billy Joe, was with her with a few other people. We've learned they ran up a tab over $300. That happened while dozens of federal agents at Chatham County investigator, investigators continued their search for her son. Quote, not necessarily the public pressure, but a deep desire to find that child's body, said Art Isvito, a former police chief in Austin, Houston, and Miami. Isvito provided his insight on why police haven't arrested anyone in Quinton's case. Quote, a parent kills a child more than likely is a low risk to a stranger due to the greater society, Isvito said. An arrest could simply be on hold because police believe they will find Quentin's body. If you think you have a lead with the bodies that like appears, you do, likely appears, and you do in your case, it's important to be patient, Isvito said. Thursday, the WSAV investigative unit learned new details about Quentin's mom's past. Leilani, who told police last month she was on probation, was charged with a felony last year. Leilani was accused of stealing two packs of cigarettes, a bag of popcorn, and a drink from a truck store or a truck stop where she worked in North Carolina at the time. Chatham County Police have said when they bring charges in Quentin's case, there won't be any doubt about them. Back to the terms of her probation, Leilani is five months in a 12-month term. She's supposed to do 48 hours of community service and couldn't commit another serious crime. Thursday, there was nothing significant that those searchers found in that landfill, and they will be back at sunrise Friday. Wow. So... That's what that was over. Uh, I'm going to play this video for you guys. More than two weeks since a Chatham County toddler went missing. Investigators believe 20-month-old Clinton Simon is dead and have named his mother as the prime suspect. That has many people wondering, why hasn't his mother, Leilani Simon, been charged with the crime? No one has been charged. Why has no one been charged? Because we're not ready to charge anyone yet. We still have work to do. Yesterday, we showed you exclusive pictures of Leilani Simon at a Tybee Island bar. This as officers wrapped up the first day of searching a Chatham County landfill for her son's body. WSCV's lead investigative reporter, Brett Buffington, is live tonight at a joint task force command center near the search site. And he brings us a new perspective on the question of why no charges so far in this case. Brett? Quite frankly, Tina, that is because Lelani Simon isn't a threat to anyone else in the public. At least that's the opinion of this law enforcement expert I talked with today, asking specifically why Lelani is not in jail. It's the picture so many people are talking about. Lelani Simon at this Tybee Island bar Tuesday night. Servers told us her mom, Billy Joe, was with her. 
with a few other people, we've learned they ran up a tab over $300. That happened while dozens of federal agents and Chatham County investigators continued their search for her son. It's not necessarily the public pressure but a deep desire to find that child's body. Art Acevedo, former police chief in Austin, Houston, and Miami, with his insight on why police haven't arrested anyone in Quentin's case. A parent that kills a child uh, more than likely is a low risk to, to a stranger, to, to the greater society. An arrest could simply be on hold because police believe they will find Quentin's body. If you think you have a lead where the body's at, like uh, like you like appears you do in your case, um, it's important to be patient. Today, the WSAV investigative unit learned new details about Quentin's mom's past. Lelaney Simon, who told police last month she was on probation, was. Just last year in North Carolina, Lelaney Simon was charged with a felony, accused of stealing two packs of cigarettes, a bag of popcorn, and a drink from the truck stop where she worked. Chatham County police have said when they bring charges in Quentin's case, there won't be any doubt about them. Well, let's go back to those terms of that probation. Lelaney Simon is five months into a 12 month uh, sentence there. She has to serve 48 hours of community service and can't be caught committing another serious crime. As for the search today at that landfill, the Investigators have come back here to this command center and gone home for the day. There is no update of anything they found there, but they will be back first thing in the morning. Tina. Brett, thank you. If you would like to stay on top of this case, you can do so by going to WSAV.com slash Quentin Simon. You will find a timeline of events in the case, as well as exclusive content of our coverage. Okay, then I'm going to put you onto another video real quick. Um, it says it's going to be incredibly difficult. We're now three days into the FBI search of a Chatham County landfill. They're looking for any sign of little Quentin Simon. Our Andy Cole joins us live now from the command center, L. Scottsdale Park. Yeah, Andy, you talked to a legal analyst about where we are in this case. This is just such a huge story. Can you catch us up right now? Hey, good afternoon, Marvis and Brooke. As the sun set Tuesday on the first day of searching a landfill piece by piece for any remains of Quentin, Leilani Simon and Billy Joe Howell, Quentin's mom and grandmother were on Tybee Island at a bar taking shots and being, quote, very loud. 22-year-old Leilani Simon is the prime suspect in this case. And while police, uh, <clears throat> while police diligently scour the landfill, she remains free. No charges have been filed and no arrests have been made. Police say they're not ready to move forward with charges just yet. Philip Holloway is a former police officer and prosecutor turned attorney. He said the reports of Leilani at the bar isn't the image any defense attorney wants to see. That's not the kind of look that a lawyer is gonna to want to have to explain in the event there are criminal charges and, and a jury has to take a look at that. And at the very least, a jury is going to want to see a parent behaving like a grieving parent would be expected to behave. Some good insight, Andy, but what's the latest on the physical surge? Well, as I mentioned at the top, FBI experts from Quantico and Atlanta, they're going by piece by piece during the search. They started early this morning, and it seems by the cars we've got right out here that they are still working right now. We'll, of course, keep you updated and bring you more at 6. Marvis. All right, our Andy Cole reporting live. Thank you, Andy. And we're getting new insight into the process being used to... <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna take you over here to the babysitter's video. Good morning. Um, I got up and I was watching the news on my phone early this morning. I haven't heard anything yet. 
Um, praying that we hear something soon. It's cold today. And, <clears throat> you know, there's so many people saying that um, people shouldn't get on social media and talk about Quentin because social media has just took Quentin over. Well, I feel like that we should talk about Quentin. I feel like that everybody should know um, how precious he was. I feel like everybody should um, put his picture out there, his face out there to be seen, his story. Um, because strangers are doing it. People that don't know him are doing it. Um, the people that is supposed to love him the most are not doing it. Um, so, yeah, I think that we should all put Quentin out there. Um, so we're just going to start this day by praying that we hear something. Praying for Quentin. Um, showing Quentin love. Praying for justice. So, um, I hope that y'all all have a wonderful day. I hope that um, everyone hears something soon about Quentin and he can be laid to rest. Um, but yes, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, I am just praying, praying for baby Quentin, monkey. But I will talk to you guys soon. <clears throat> Good morning. I can't let that full sound play. I wish I could because it is a really beautiful sound. It really is. Um, but... Um, I'm just reading. It says that her probation is out of North Carolina. Um, it's a deal with the court to plead to a lesser sentence if Leilani completes the stipulations of the probation. The court's clerk of court's office confirmed to uh, WSAV. She stole a lemon flavored drink, a bag of popcorn, two packs of cigarettes from a Love's truck stop that she used to work at. Um, yeah, that's precious, isn't it? Charged with felony larceny by employee is what it's called. And then she applied to a lesser charge. She served five months of it, has to do 48 hours of community service and then be involved with no criminal activity. So, that's that's where she is completely. Um, and then I think I'm gonna bring you over here. Um, I'm gonna show you this too. Um, this is over on. Let me grab you. Bring you over here. This is on Twitter. It's on Legacy's page. Um, is where I'm currently at. And it says, um, how Quentin's memorial is looking so far. The new sign the family has put outside of the house. There is no foot too small that it cannot leave an imprint on this world. Unknown. Fly high, baby Q, a.k.a. monkey. Mm, that's the memorial. And this sign here says no trespassing with some other stuff that I can't see. There we go. Um, no trespassing, please and thank you. Only exception, gifts for baby Q. Welcomed, P.S. You are on camera. So that's what, what that says. And then, um, and then this, um, this comes from Brett again from WSAV. 
No, oh, that's the, the terms for the probation. Um, I wanted to take you to Associate Criminal Justice Professor at Georgia Southern University, Chad Posek says, in cases of a missing child this young, it's typical for the child's parents or someone close to the child to be responsible for their disappearance. He says they can't arrest Leilani before they find Quentin's remains, but they may have a more solid case if they wait. Quote, I think they're looking for remains from the body, some evidence that can really tie the perpetrator to the victim. As this search for Quentin gains national attention and people all over are grieving the loss of this baby boy, he says this case is raising many questions all over. And this is the news of the disappearance spread really quickly and now the investigation is getting a lot of attention. So this is the first major case of this sort of magnitude that we've seen in this era when news can spread so quickly. And again, this impacts the investigation. It impacts what people know about the case and it raises a lot of questions. Posick says police may not yet have the evidence that prosecutors will need, but certainly if they have enough to make an arrest to bring her to court means they've either talked to a witness or they found something pretty key in the home or at one of the sites they had previously searched. Yeah, but yeah, but that's that's being mistaken because she wasn't arrested and brought to the court. Right? Her being at court was for the other two children. Right? It wasn't because she had been arrested for anything to do with Quentin. But uh, police also haven't gone into detail about what evidence they found that led them to believe Quentin was put into a dumpster and taken to this landfill or why Leilani is responsible for Quentin's death. In a case like this, in the magnitude, um, police are going to be very careful not to do anything that would jeopardize if it went to trial or any plea bargaining, especially when you have the disappearance and you may have a body somewhere. Everything from who they interview, the way that they do their investigation, to the search for any remains, any little thing can upset the that case if it's done incorrectly. Exactly. Exactly. He also says police may not want to put evidence they've gotten so far out there just in case they have to find another person of interest in this case. Police say they have no updates today, but an FBI official says they'll release information about their search so far sometime, so far sometime Friday. Uh, but um, so that was that one. And the sweet little baby, and they didn't find his remains. And then um, there was something else on here I was going to show you. This was the felony larceny by employee. Right there. You could see it at the bottom. Um, you see her name. Um, the search. Search continues for toddler believed dead. Is his mother and grandmother? This is the full clip. Um, the love he is receiving from people that never met him. It's amazing. I thank you all for doing this. Prayers that today is the day they find him. Hmm. Um, was this it? This was it. This was, um, so Jen Smith, the bar where Leilani and Billy Joe were partying, has surveillance footage of the three hours that they were there drinking and taking shots of Patron. She also said that Ali has already contacted the bar and has requested the video. And so it says here, um, you'd think that they would be quiet, but they weren't. 
it was like they wanted attention. Um, there were around six of them in the group. They were drinking Patron, Top Shelf Tequila. And they were here from around 5 until 8 p.m. Others told WSAV that they ran up their Bill 300 uh, tab, floating with staff. Police have already been in contact with the bar to request the surveillance footage of the three-hour drinking session. After details of Leilani, Leilani's outing in at the bar merged on Wednesday. The local police department tweeted a photo of their landfill search for Quentin. We're not ready to charge anyone yet. We still have work to do. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you, you know, um, a couple of other updates that were on here. Um, this is another TikTok one that I shown, but there's the little sweet baby right here. He is so precious, but um, I'll bring updates again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so it sounds as though the police are going to give another update sometime tomorrow. I will update you guys once they release whatever it is. I hope that you guys have a good night or day, depending where you are. Thanks for being here. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.